Hey guys, back with another research breakdown. And today we're talking about whether or not the mind muscle connection makes a difference. Okay. So there have been studies that have come out and shown that basically if you focus on contracting the muscle while you're lifting the weight, this, this mind muscle connection that, uh, it actually, uh, causes better muscle activation, right? And that research is 100% legitimate. Um, when you're lifting at a moderate pace or slow pace, if you really contract, if you focus on contracting your muscle hard, um, you'll get better muscle activation. In fact, now there's some research coming out that shows even if you don't lift weights, if you just contract your, if you don't, if you're now, if you're not trained, if you contract your muscle really hard, you can actually grow muscle that way. Um, now you're not going to grow nearly as much as you would from lifting actual weights, but um, we're finding out more and more stuff about muscular contraction and hypertrophy and the various avenues of hypertrophy that are out there. And a lot of people have taken this kind of research and, and, and said, well, you should lift slow or you should really focus. It's not, it's not about the weight you lift, but you have to feel the muscle. You have to feel the muscle contracting. And people have used it for time under tension and all these other things. And I think one of the, the things to keep in mind is that there's what's called the force velocity curve. Um, I can apply the same amount of force that I would to 600 pounds to 300 pounds. But when I apply it to 300 pounds, 300 pounds moves faster. But people have used this, this data about um, kind of forcing a contraction and focusing on the contraction and this mind muscle connection to, to say that you shouldn't lift weights explosively or that if you're lifting heavy weights, uh, it's not as good because you're not able to focus on that mind muscle contraction. Well, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the Heinemann principle, which is uh, fibers, muscle fibers are recruited in order. Okay. So you recruit the smallest fibers first, the smallest uh, type one fibers, then your intermediate fibers, and then your large fast twitch fibers last. Now, if you lift a, 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 to a maximum, you know, to th like a one rep or two rep max, you have to recruit all those muscle fibers. You have high muscle activation because in order to lift that weight at a one rep or two rep or three rep maximum, whatever, you're not gonna be able to do it unless you recruit all those muscle fibers. Now, if you take a light weight and you train till failure, like say 20 reps or whatever, you're also recruiting those fast twitch muscle fibers because as you fatigue, as those type one and, and intermediate fibers fatigue, even though it's a light weight, you're gonna to have to recruit those fast twitch glycolytic fibers in order to complete that those rep, next repetitions. So uh, keep in mind force velocity curve, also Heinemann uh, recruitment principle. So when you look at things like, um, you know, focusing on the contraction, well, what tends to happen is in my, in my opinion, based on, on the data I've seen, there's probably more metabolic, metabolic byproduct accumulation with that. Uh, and you're getting uh, greater fatigue for the same weight, okay? And so uh, you're fatiguing those fibers a little bit faster and then able to recruit those large muscle fibers. This, there's a new study out where they looked at, okay, so it's shown that at a normal pace, like normal cadence of lifting, if you focus on the contraction with a light weight, i.e. 50% of a one rep max, that you get greater muscle fiber activation. What this new study asked the question, and actually if you want to read more, it was reviewed in, in mass this month um, by Greg Knuckles, and he did a fantastic write-up. I'll, I'll put the link below. Um, if you focus on a normal cadence or slow cadence on, on like actively contracting your pecs when you're doing a bench press or something like that, um, that you get greater activation. But what these researchers asked was, can you or will you get this, will you get greater muscle activation than if you tried to lift the same weight but tried to do it explosively? So try to apply as much force as you could to that weight, okay? So they had, they had three different groups of people. They had kind of uh, 
regular, regular focus in terms of regular cadence of lifting with 50% of one rep max with no internal cues, no uh, mind muscle connection. In other words, like actively thinking about the contraction. They had another group that did the slow or, or regular cadence thinking about contraction. And then they had a third group that was lifting as explosively as possible. Okay. And what they found was, um, very interesting. So pre they found what was found previously in that at a normal or slow cadence, if you focus on the contraction, you get better activation. But interestingly, what they found was the explosive group got the best activation, significantly better than even the group that was focusing on the mind muscle connection. And this is probably because in order to lift that weight explosively, you are still having to recruit a maximal amount of muscle fibers because you're applying as much force as possible. You are, like I said, you can still apply the same amount of force to 300 pounds as you can to 600 pounds. The only difference being that 300 pounds will now move faster. Okay. So I think what this says, I'm not saying to throw away the idea of activation training. What I'm saying is that for maximal activation, you're probably best off whatever percent, whatever weight you're using, whether it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent of a one rep max, to do that as fast as possible on the concentric. That being said, I think there are situations where a, uh, a slower or cadenced uh, rep can help. Let me, and I use this. Okay, let me give you an example. Um, if you're injured, okay, I strained my pec uh, a few weeks back before Raw Nationals and actually had to take basically a token lift at Raw Nationals because of it. Uh, I am not able to do explosive lifting uh, with that muscle fiber I, 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 or with that, with that muscle because I'm afraid I'll, I'll permanently tear it. So what we've been doing instead is really slow cadenced lifts, okay? So I'm able to maintain some hypertrophy, still able to fatigue that muscle, uh, but I'm not putting it so much at risk of re or um, of uh, further damage to it. Um, and it's a very, very slight strain. It's, it's not bad at all, but I don't want to make it worse. So I think in those situations, that can be helpful. Or if you're, again, somebody like me who um, you tend to under heavy loads or high explosive lifts, um, if you do that too much, you, you tend to accumulate injuries. Uh, I will do tempo training just as a way to get some carryover to my main lift, but then uh, also uh, uh, not get so dinged up. Uh, further, if you look at like time under tension training, uh, which is really popular right now. Some people are really espousing this as, as the maximal way to build muscle. Um, it, it's, it's kind of the same deal. There was a, a study where they took uh, people and had them curl 30% of a one rep maximum, uh, six seconds down, six seconds up, uh, or one second down and up, just a normal cadence. And I think it was uh, 10 reps. They had them do 10 or 12 reps. And they found that the group doing the slow time under tension training had better hypertrophy and strength gains. And people will take that and they will say, well, see, slow training, time under tension training is better, but you have to compare apples to apples. And what you find is that if you, 30% uh, of one rep max, if I'm doing it at a regular pace, if I do 10 reps, that's nothing. That, that is not fatiguing at all. It's fatiguing if I do six seconds down, six seconds up. But if I go to normal cadence, how many reps can I do? 40, 50 reps probably. If you do the same study, and it has been done, if you do the same study and take it to complete muscular fatigue, okay, if you do both to failure, cadence lifting versus kind of normal cadence where you're doing more reps, what they actually find is you get better results from doing the normal cadence lifting and taking it to failure. So again, because probably because you're, you're getting more total volume, there's more times that you're stretching the muscle, um, probably a little more damage, maybe even a little bit more metabolic byproduct accumulation because of the pumping action on the muscle. Um, but 
that again that doesn't mean that time under tension training or tempo training is completely worthless it just means that it's only a tool in a tool belt and it's, not, it's certainly not superior to normal training what i will tell you is the core of your training should be made up of whatever weight you are lifting you are lifting it uh, on at least on the concentric as quickly as you possibly can and uh, sprinkling in tempo training where is needed in order to uh, not overreach uh, your CNS and further not cause injury to yourself. Uh, but that should be uh, pretty modest unless you're somebody who get, tends to get dinged up a lot. And um, this idea that slower repetitions are better, I think the research is pretty clear that that's not true. Um, now again, if you have an injury where you cannot lift explosively without risking further injury, then taking a lightweight and going very slow probably makes a lot of sense or doing something like blood flow restriction training. So I, I would definitely uh, encourage you guys to check out some of the articles on, on my site on biolane.com where we talk about this sort of stuff. And uh, I would also encourage you to check out uh, publications like Mass. And I'll, again, I'll put links below. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, please share it, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, I look forward to hearing you guys' feedback on this. Thanks.